Out of curiosity, what kind of movie memorabilia you have hanging on the walls or some kind of furniture decoration? It's Robin Liz, his morning crew on his radio. If you're a Star Wars fan, I got something for you. Ruggable is a company that has just introduced an entire line of Star Wars rugs. They also have, I think, a couple of pictures and some throw pillows and things like that. But here's the thing. It's not real campy like you would expect. Like there's not a picture of Han Solo, you know, frozen in carbonite or whatever. It is very subtly Darth Vader and Boba Fett woven into it's actually a very pretty rug like that. You don't even notice it quite at first on that one. Then there's another one that has like um, one of the the fighters. I don't know if it's an X-Wing fighter or whatever. That one's a little too much for me. But they do have about 20 different versions of these rugs. Some have, um, I think one has R2-D2. You've got the Rebel Alliance A-Wing fighter, the Millennium Falcon. So they turned it into a classy art deco. Classy art deco. I would go with that. They even have um, a Darth Vader portrait of sorts which i don't think i would put that on my wall but the darth vader rug i i kind of like it what do you what would you call the design like paisley kind of stuff uh, filigree is probably where is I that would, what you call that I, I, that's the closest thing because i'm not an interior designer that's the closest thing that i can equate that rug to And then there is a a, more of an art deco, like you say, rug that is one of the fighters that I still I can't really pick it up in this rug. So to me, it's just it's more the colors of the fighter. Okay. Yeah. So it's not bad. I would I think I would do really the Darth Vader Boba Fett rug because you can't tell. What blatantly do you have in your house? That's something that's movie related. I have the uh, baby Yoda stuffed animal. Oh, about something on your wall? I had a Broadway, and my friend Anne is going to find this out this morning, but my son Luke actually ended up breaking it accidentally. (gasps) Uh Uh-oh. He was playing around. He ran into it. But she had, for a couple years ago, bought me um, uh, almost a shadow box of Broadway. Oh, in New York that was City. the thing that you said was four hundred bucks. Yeah, uh, no, <laughs> I don't. She bought it for my birthday. I have no idea. But yeah, he ran into it. So that would be the only thing that I can think that's on my wall from a movie or whatever. Okay. What about you? Uh, well, let me check in with Ian, Ian. and TJ. Okay. What about you guys? Uh, I have multiple posters in my room, uh, one of which being the original Star Wars poster from Ooh. like 77. I can see this. Yeah. I this have a um, gigant- I have an Avengers Endgame poster. Mm. I can see that too. And along with it, I have like a giant portrait of Iron Man above my bed. I have a poster of... Above your bed? You go to sleep looking at Iron Man? No, no. It's like behind me. It's like... Oh, okay. You can see it above the <laughs> I thought it was like, like on, on the, the ceiling. ceiling. I like... <laughs> No, 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 no. I want to be Iron Man one day. <laughs> and then I have like a poster of the Hawkins AV Club from Stranger Things. The who, if anyone's what? seen Stranger no, okay. Things, it's really cool. Don't great, go great there. Lost us. I, I know. Yeah. I don't watch that one. No. Don't go but there. Yeah, what I about, have all that. What great. about TJ? Wow. Anything, TJ? My walls are blank. Okay. Blank. Lame. Blank. <laughs> I, got a blank wall. I love that. There's, and then you? I have one thing. Yeah. And and it's from the actors of I Can Only Imagine the Movie. Because you were in that. Oh, you heard. Weren't you? Yeah, that's the only reason why I have it on there. Because they kind of, it's a, ma- it's not like a poster poster. Yeah. It's a matted thing. Sure. They signed it and gave it to me because I was in that movie with them. That is pretty yeah. awesome on t- on many different levels. But that that's pretty cool. I would have that in my house too. Yeah. Well, I have it in my studio. So yeah. that's where I have it. Huh. So what do you have in your home that is like that. Like, it's just, I hate calling it an obsession, but something that you just love that you've brought into the home as part of the decor. Yeah. 800-447-7234. It's his morning crew.